Hi guys, I'm back and we're going to do one more rolling pin painting. I'm convinced this is going to work again. <laughs> the last one, not so much, but um, it was a much bigger canvas. Now I haven't put anything on my rolling pin yet. Um, I'll try that next time, maybe on a bigger canvas. I don't know. Um, I kind of have the idea maybe to go across here. So I'm kind of hoping that once it hits the edges of the canvas, it will continue to roll. Um, because I think that's partly why it doesn't continue to roll on the bigger canvas because the canvas bows down. And so this might work on like a board. I might try it one time with a board and see if that might work a little better. Plus, this is a real slippery surface, obviously. So it's uh, not going to work quite as well. So I've got the same colors as I did in the last painting. So if you want to know what colors I used, um, just look at the last painting, the last video. Um, or I guess I could just tell you while I'm pouring these in. This is, they're all artist loft colors. This is turquoise. The last one was deep magenta. This is green yellow. Uh, this one is Portrait Pink. I'm stirring these just a little bit because they do have the silicone in them from the last time. This is Phthalo Green. And then this one is Phthalo Blue. Okay, so I guess you don't have to go look at the last video. Hopefully you watched the last video, but <laughs> if not, oh well. Okay, so let's go through the colors again. Uh, no, let's do deep magenta first. So I'll go ahead and use, I think, the rest of that. Because it didn't show up enough in the last, last one for my liking. So hopefully that will be sufficient. And let's do some phthalo blue. Even though I think I just did phthalo blue. Some of this green, green yellow. Do some portrait pink. I, I'll go ahead and pour the rest of that in there too, because there's not much left. This time I did not coat my canvas with white paint. Um, one, because I didn't have enough white paint left. <laughs> and um, two, because I didn't do it the first time and it seemed to work pretty well, so, um, whoops, did not mean to do that and I do not want that on there. There we go. Okay, a little more lime green and that's way too much paint, so we're going to leave it at that. Got enough, just enough white for, and hopefully that will... <laughs> this is just a medicine bottle so I had to cut off the top of it because it kind of came in with, for the top so it's not real perfect so it's probably going to start spilling out around it so hopefully we can do this quickly oh I just stuck my hand in the paint it's on the paper not a lot of white left not really sure how much luck I'm going to have with this one, but, you know, look, if you don't, if you don't have bad luck once in a while, you're not going to appreciate the good luck quite as much. That's how I look at it. You know, it's like if it rain, if it's sunshiny all the time and you never have any rain, you're not going to appreciate sunshine as much. So it has been raining here for the last two weeks. It's driving me crazy. The girls are already driving me crazy. They've been out of school for two days and they're already saying, I'm bored. They want to go to the beach, which is really just the lake. <laughs> I'm like, but it's been raining for two weeks. We cannot go. It is nasty and muddy, but they're bored already. So we're going to figure out something to do with them. All right, so I really don't want this to go everywhere, but I'm pretty sure it's going to. Whew. 
Yeah, it's not pretty. Look at that. Pretty. Ooh, look at the long there. I always love these edges. There's my peach, and it's going to disappear. I hate to even do this, but let's go ahead and roll it. Hopefully, it will squish out enough where I won't have to put any color on the side because I think it's probably going to. Um, I need some love on the side. All right, let's just do this. <laughs> wow well it's totally pretty but man I wish I had more white because I need it right through here that's pretty maybe I should do a different color along the edges maybe some of the phthalo blue or the I really didn't want it to be a dark painting though that's a bummer I really want white on the sides it's really not I mean, I could go this way and that way with it, but it'll totally mess up the pattern. Let's, uh, well, first let's see how much paint it feels like we have on there. Oh, yeah. There's, like, really not enough paint to shove either. I don't want to lose my pretty pattern. So I'm going to leave it. I'm going to think about what to do with it real quick. Let's get all the air bubbles out of it. Obviously, we don't need any more cells to come up, but the heat might bring up uh, some of the color that's not showing. I think what I'm going to have to do with this is mix up some more white paint to go along the edges real quick. So, I'm going to put you guys on pause. I'm going to mix up some more white paint real quick, and then we'll move on. Okay, so I've mixed up a little more white paint real quick, and I am not going to put silicone in it. This is really just to fill out the edges here. Oh, I don't want to move that. I really don't want to move that. So we're just going to kind of work it like we would any other painting. There we go. Okay. That's better. Let's turn it that way. I'm not sure I like the shape of it, but maybe if we did something else to it. really kind of need some of that to come off, so I'm going to have to tilt it. Hopefully it won't upset the rest of the painting too much. Hopefully. Now I don't want that to move. Okay, we're just going to hope that that's going to dry. Um, I need to do something to these. Maybe take the paintbrush. They're probably yelling at me, but it's too blocky. It needs something. And I really don't know what it needs. I mean, maybe I should pour it off a little bit or that way. I don't know. Let's move it maybe really super slowly. I don't want to lose the shape of my cells. I was just letting it crawl. And see, now that's pushing down on this one. I don't like that. No, 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 no. And, and see, the ones in the center are kind of getting elongated. I don't like that. Maybe this way. I love the way the color is like washing out into the white. That's cool. I feel like it needs to come off of some corner. Maybe just completely that way. I don't know. Not really doing a whole lot. I need it to move though. 
because it, like I said, it's just too blocky. Cells are, are doing good. They're not like stretching out too bad. So I'm watching, you know, kind of all around there. Come on, baby. It's just like watching my dog when I tell her it's time to go to bed at night. She stares at me. She says, you're not really going to make me go to bed, are you? <laughs> she, and she's serious. She will not budge until, I, until I'm like, okay, look, Abby, I'm super serious. It's time for bed. happier with that already but I kind of want it to come more off of this side because it's kind of all scrunched up uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. no that's not what I wanted it to do all right the cells are going all right enough already lady put us down I want maybe I'll drag the you know, because I love the way it's wisping out like this, so we're going to try that. I love this little fat ended. It works way better than the, um, than the palette knife, because the palette knife's little um, edge is just too, too thin. See, those are like, I don't even need to do anything right there, but I feel like I kind of should. Just to make sure they're not going to do, whoops, got rid of that one. I did not mean that. See, I go back in a, there we go. This one kind of seems, you know, this one is working better like the first one did. I think I'm going to leave it a little, look at how it's kind of. Oops, I did not want it to be that fat right there. There we go. I see I'm just wiping it off in my hand. If you don't wipe it off, you'll just kind of drag the white th back through there. See how I accidentally caught the white? Okay, I'm getting happy with this one. This I don't really care for right through there. I'm hoping maybe if I torch it, it'll do something. Maybe I should like through there. I don't know. Um, 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 um. Oh, look at that one. It did a cell right there. <laughs> okay. Not exactly what I had in mind, but okay. I'm trying to decide what to do with this through here. Let's, um, God, I really don't want to touch my torch. <sighs> Wipe the hands off. I want to be good and not cover my torch. I'm kind of hoping for some cells to come up through there, but you know, like I said before, I don't get a lot of cell action after the pour. You know, what it is, it is. But that's okay, because look at the plethora of cells. Pretty awesome. This I just don't like this white right through there. I'm watching it see if anything comes up. I'm getting some like tiny cells through there. If I can just get enough activity, I'd be happy, but not happening. Okay. Um, what to do? What to do? Really don't know. And this little pile of cells kind of got squished in there. 
I really want to It's kind of mixing a little bit, but not too bad where it's not. I'm actually kind of a little happier with it. That's not too bad. It's kind of neat. Gives it a little different something or other. All right, people, you can cut that out. It's only up here. There we go. I need some more paint through there. Okay. I think I'm happier with that. I hope I didn't mess the whole thing up. <laughs> All right, I think I'm happy with that. Wipe my hand off again. Let's uh, get you down for a, a close-up of the cells because they're actually really cool. All right, get you down close. This definitely worked better than the first one, um, or actually the second one. The first one I did a long time ago, but. This one definitely worked better than the first one I tried with these paints and the silicone. And so I think um, because it had that hard um, shell, you know, the hard frame on it, that really helped. I really kind of love doing these. They're fun to do. It's fun to see what the paint does. So what I'm probably going to do is get some more eight inch by eight inch uh, canvases because it works well. Well, it did the first time. Oh, you can't look at the, the cells that got created just by, you know, kind of falling out into the white. Oh, and there's that big cell that I was talking about. It's not really big, but it just formed all on its own after I did the little squiggle with the paintbrush. So kind of cool. I love how the, the paint makes those cells out there in the white. All right. All in all, I think this was pretty successful. There's where my cells kind of got squinched together. Not real thrilled about that, but that's okay. Okay. Oh, let's see. Let's up here. There's some pretty cells up here somewhere. I saw them. <laughs> There they are. All pretty and rainbowy. Okay. All right. There's your pretty for today. I hope y'all enjoyed. I want to thank all my viewers and my subscribers. Wherever you are on the planet, I hope you have an awesome afternoon, day, evening, or night. See you later. Bye.